let's find out more about the weekend forecast, sunshine, and warmer temperatures today, Jeremy. Lisa, it's been a full shift. We always were calling yesterday the transition day, right? Yes. So now we are fully into that warm up. Today, temperatures in the 60s. Tomorrow, temperatures breaking the 70 degree mark for many. Same for Sunday. And by Tuesday of next week, we could be seeing the 80 degree mark. And of course, these clear skies are perfect for celestial observations, and that includes the International Space Station. This was captured by one of our viewers, Tammy, in Dingman's Ferry, right over the border from New Jersey, right along the Delaware River. And you notice the traveling dot in the sky. It was one of the longest Passovers we've had this month, a seven minute long Passover around 640 this morning. And that's the International Space Station. The International Space Station has a crew of seven people that live and work on it at all times. And it's continuously occupied since 2000. And it orbits the Earth 16 times a day, which means they get to see 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets every single day. Isn't that amazing? And uh, their living space and working space is larger than six bedrooms in a house. So they got a quite a large area. And if you see that passing dot going over the sky tomorrow morning at 547, it lasts about four minutes. Now you know what it is. The International Space Station, you'll want to look high in the atmosphere between the south southwest horizon and it'll end up going disappearing and going underneath the horizon once again towards the east northeast. It's solar array, so it's charged by solar uh, radiation. That's how it gains its energy, just like a solar panel. That solar array is larger than an Airbus A380, which is the largest passenger plane in the world. So it is a huge object, and that's why it reflects so much light around sunrise and sunset, allowing us to see it at those Passovers. So hopefully you get to see it tomorrow morning if you didn't get to see it this morning, like Tammy did in Dingman's Ferry. Here's a live view from what it looked like in a uh, mountaintop from Arnold. Beautiful colors there in the mountains in Luzerne County. And we're seeing great colors across the entire area from central Pennsylvania down to the southern tier, even into Luzerne and Lackawanna counties. We are in peak. And although we're past peak in the northern tier and in Clinton County, still lots of great reds, oranges, and yellows to still enjoy. There's a live view of Lake Wallenpaw Pack. Good evening to you. Looks great. Lots of colors there, too, in the trees. And, uh, of course, we're celebrating Halloween just a little bit early, 13 days until the actual holiday itself. And this is a view of what it looks like in Tower City in Schuylkill County from Ricky at his house. And he's got lots and lots of Halloween decorations around, not just the front of the house, but you can see there on the side, too. Ricky, thank you very much for sending in your photo of your house. Lows this morning in the 30s once again, but not around the freezing mark here in our area. We're at 35, so three degrees warmer than we woke up to yesterday. Tomorrow will be even warmer still in the upper 30s versus the mid 30s by Saturday night into Sunday morning will be in the 40s. So yes, it was another chilly one this morning, but not for Hazleton, woke up to 43 degrees. And what you'll notice is we really ramped up the high temperatures. Just two days ago, the high temperature in Mount Pocono was 49. Today, temperature is almost 20 degrees warmer. 63 is a high, 69 as a high for Williamsport, and 68 as a high for Avoca. Current temperatures right now in the upper 60s for the Susquehanna Valley, still in the 60s for places like Thornhurst and Scranton, 61 in Pleasant Mount. We're up anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees compared to 24 hours ago. And those winds are nice and light, so the sunshine is doing a job of warming us up. Clear skies all the way up and down the eastern seaboard. We are under this huge ridge of high pressure, sinking air, kind of just taking away all the moisture that we would see otherwise. It's going up and over the high pressure system and being blocked by the high. So we're going to have great skies all the way through Saturday and Sunday. And got to get in the dog walking forecast. This is Guy. Darren, thank you for sending this in. This is Nikki Kreis's boyfriend's dog. And he is just adorable. Looks like a fantastic evening to walk your pup. Just have the extra layer handy past 10 p.m. There's your seven day temperatures steadily in the 70s as we head towards Wednesday. We have a cold front that rolls through Wednesday night and the Thursday and that'll drop temperatures back down to average. But we'll enjoy this unseasonably warm period for mid-October, Lisa. That is a good looking seven day forecast for October. Yes, it is. All right, Jeremy, thank you. Mm -hmm.